Hello lovely people, it's Dion here from Kim Mami Mosaics, hope you're well. Um, I just wanted to show you how far I've got on this lovely school mosaic I'm doing at Wixons Academy in Bedford. Um, it's going really well, I'm really pleased with the progress and if you haven't seen uh, the videos beforehand of my, um, my progress then please do check, check it out. Um, so just give you a little pan down, 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 down all the way. Um, this mosaic is roughly three meters long. Um, if I just go go back and then I'll give you a bit more of perspective of how big it is. There you go. And I also wanted just to have a little chat with you about my challenges that I'm finding doing this mosaic um, because of the, the wording that's in here. That presents a bit of a problem and also these little these little bits here with the bits of grass and you have to sort of like cut around them and stuff like that so I thought I'd just have a little chat with you guys about that if that's okay um, so I'm using um, mostly uh, vitreous grass and Winkleman's this is what it looks like over here the Winkleman's ceramic glass and here's my my vitreous glass over here that I've been using so what I've been doing because I'm using kind of regular shapes for the background I've cut a little selection here into um, oblong shapes so just half a tile so if I just give you that for a comparison over here so you can see and, and I'm just laying them in what we call in mosaic term opus um, tessellatum so that means like it's like a brickwork fashion formation really so you don't you try and avoid having tiles directly on top of each other like this these ones here which uh, where are they I've got to try and find them now here they are these two here they're directly on top of each other so the idea is to try and offset um, the tile the, the row above so each tile will be offset from the next one that's the idea um, but you know if it does happen every now and again it's not a big problem because once it's all grouted and everything, you won't even see that. So here we go. Um, so the wording, of, you can see what, it's looked like, what it looks like with one of the words finished. Um, and then panning out along here, I've got a couple of gaps that I'm still working on. And also I have to think about the flow of where I'm going. So up here, for example, I wanted to just follow just a small area, small arc. And I'm actually going to just continue it here, the small arc shape, until it kind of diminishes into that section over here. And then I'm going to start my next row underneath here, all the way underneath that. And it's going to meet up here, at the top here, and continue all the way down until I finish that section underneath the girl on the the tire just down the bottom here and I'm going to keep going until I, I meet this um, this section at the bottom here so I'm hoping that we will all tie in nicely so the challenges that I have are working in between the letters because the letters are so fine um, and cutting the glass sometimes doesn't go to plan so you know working with bits like, little bits of glass like this is going to be really fiddly and looking at, you know, trying to fit bits in here, like for example. Um, so looking at it like this, it looks a little bit haphazard and a little bit messy. But um, like I said, once it's um, it's grouted in, those imperfections will just blend in and disappear. That's the plan anyway. So yeah, so I just thought I'd show you this, a little bit of an update. Um, hoping I'm working on this like once every week so it's it's a bit slow because I'm also doing other things um, so that's why it's taking me a little bit of time for me to finish um, but oh I just wanted to show you these bits over here so I've left intentionally left these little tiny little gaps in between some of the tiles here because um, the children are going to put their initials in those gaps. Um, so the school has just recently been open, opened last September. And so 
there's only four classes in the whole school at the moment. So each child is going to have their initials in those little gaps. Um, just I've got some like uh, beads with with letters on them. So they're going to place their initials on there, um, and that's going to look pretty cool, I think. And um, yeah, so so hopefully I'll finish this a couple of weeks after Easter, and I'll be able to film it actually being installed so that'll be exciting but that's it for now so I hope you enjoyed this little update and if you've got any questions at all please feel free to ask me um, and if you have a project that you have been thinking about or oh, perhaps like you know you want a, a mosaic in your school get in contact with me um, my email address is info at kimamumosaics.co.uk and if you're not sure how to spell Kimamu, it's Q-E-M-A-M-U, and then mosaics, M-O-S-A-I-C-S, dot co dot U-K. Um, so, yeah, enjoy the rest of your week, and um, I'll catch up soon. Bye.